Hello everyone, I am Vega, and this is my very first Let's Play video. Starting off with Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. One of my personal favorite games of all time. It's a really good game, if you've never played it, I highly recommend playing it. You'll have a lot of fun, hopefully, unless you hate RP RPGs. So now we see the opening cinema where we have the story. I wonder what this story is going to be. Oh, here's Peach sitting innocently, but uh-oh! What could possibly happen? What could possibly be the storyline for this game? Oh, wait a minute! It appears Bowser has stolen Princess Toadstool? This is unheard of. This is just unexpected. Mario must spring into action to save Princess Peach. So unusual. I can't believe Bowser would do something like this. He's such a nice guy normally. Stealing Princess Peach and taking her to his castle. Obviously the most unexpected area you could ever possibly take Princess Peach. Let's go. So now we begin. This is it. I think it's lagging a little bit. That should be awesome for the rest of this. As you can see, you can control how many moves in 3D. The graphics are actually very good, in my opinion, for this game. This is on the Super Nintendo. And so, yeah. You walk around, you can avoid them, or you can run right into them if you want. That's always fun. You have different methods of attacking. Basic attacks, and you can do the special attack. Which you press Y to jump. And you get more as you go along, but right now all we have is jump. Because that's all Mario is good at. And I also like how Mario actually skips going through seven other castles this time. He goes right to Bowser's castle. Because he knows where she is by now. So it is very much a traditional RPG. You have the whole encounters, turn-based fighting style. Not like a lot of the other Mario games. They made another one, Paper Mario, which I believe was originally supposed to be the uh, sequel to this. But it was not, and it ended up sucking because it did not have any of the awesome things that this game has. Actually, I've never played it, but I know it doesn't have a lot of the same characters. And, you know, he's Paper. Wait a minute. Where's Bowser? There's Peach, hanging from the ceiling, and there's Bowser on the chandelier. And already the battle with Bowser begins. Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario! Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond. Let's get him. Eight. I did eight damage. That was great. Let's try again. Another eight damage! He is definitely going to lose now. Mario, the chain! Aim for the chain! The chain? Brilliance. So you hit the chain, because obviously fighting Bowser like that is going to do nothing. So attack the chain, chomp. It's holding up the chandelier. And Bowser keeps fighting you, because he has not figured out your strategy, even though Princess Toadstool just yelled and told him what to do. Now you can see it's breaking, the, breaking up, Bowser's panicking. It's a chain reaction, haha, <laughs> pun. And he falls to his doom. And he's still falling. Oh, wait a minute. Bowser is now fighting back. And it looks like the chain chomp's gonna fall. Oh no, Mario's falling. And he's dead too. No, wait, he's still falling. I like how it started off and it was just like a few feet above the ground, but now they're falling for like several minutes. And Bowser's very angry. Threatening to kill him. Oh, that did not go well. And Bowser falls to his doom. And thus he is defeated and we have de beaten the game already. Of course, that's not true at all. Oh no! The whole building's shaking. What's going on? What could possibly be happening? Hey, it's a cloud! And a star. Oh no, the star is broken! 
There appears to be seven stars. Maybe that's why it's called Legend of the Seven Stars. The seven stars, if I can speak correctly. And a giant sword with a face has just impaled itself into the castle. And now we get the title screen because that was just the opening segment. Super Mario RPG. Now we can begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And there you see a bit of the world map that we'll be going through throughout the game. And Mario's being thrown through midair. And there's his house! One of the few, if not the only, games where you actually see Mario's house. It's not very fancy. You'd think it'd be more, you know, special. Going around saving princesses. No, it looks like crap. Like, you just threw it together with wood and duct tape. And there's Toad. I never liked Toad. Hey, Mario, lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses. Yeah, well, some people can walk and not get thrown out of buildings. So, yeah. You're in control of Mario throughout the game. And he, like many RPGs, is silent. He is unable to talk. And this is the save point. You jump on him. And you save. Very complex system. So you talk to Toad. You talk to Toad. Okay. Hey, I thought the princess was with you, Mario. Where is she? Of course, she's gone. What's with the silent treatment? You're not telling me something. Yeah, because he can't talk. He's the main character in an RPG. They can never talk, just like Chrono and Chrono Trigger. And most Final Fantasy games and stuff like that. Except in the other ones. The later Final Fantasy games, they were able to talk. So let's go back and find Princess Peach. Back to Bowser's castle where the sword impaled it. And there it is. What the hell the sword just talked. There is a giant sword talking to me now. This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. It's our first step towards taking over this world. And if it weren't for nosy characters like you, we'd practically own this world. So let's see you deal with this. What, you're gonna shake your mouth? And through the power of his mouth, he destroys the bridge. Devastating. It appears words speak louder than actions for this guy. That was a terrible joke. So yeah, now you can't go to it. Like, not directly. Now you can just see, you can look at it. Looks like a Ninja Gaiden type of scene. So that means we have to go all the way around the world to get through it from the other side. Of course, this game would be too easy if it was just walking around like that. And so we find Toad again, he's in my house. Rexozoon, did you forget something? What happened? And see, because Mario cannot talk, he demonstrates everything through charades. And see, he magically knows the bridge to Bowser's Keep is out now? Just wonderful. We must inform the Chancellor of Mushroom Kingdom at once. Let's go, Mario! There's Toad again. That bump on your head reduced your HP level. One of Mushroom Kingdom's famous items ought to perk you right up. You received a mushroom, and of course, in this game, mushrooms work like potions. Do you know how to use items? I'm gonna say I do. Because you are not playing this game. And I am, and I know how. Because I've played it before. A Goomba! The most devastating enemy in the entire world. And I know about timed hits. I used them in the first battle. So the Goomba runs away, obviously afraid of my great skill using timed hits. And Toad keeps talking because I hate him. Finally he leaves, and now finally we can move on and go to Mushroom Way! Another good thing about this is it doesn't have random encounters. You only encounter things if you run directly into them like this. And you can fight them one by one. And of course they're Goombas, so they suck. And you can kill them pretty easily. 
And that's the time hits he was talking about. I was able to hit him twice. Does more damage. So yes, that will wrap it up for part one. And we will come back with Mushroom Way and Mushroom Kingdom and to save Toad who was over there, trapped by the Goomba. Until next time.